Welcome back. This is the final part, part four of our plastic model of the F4 Corsair. What I'm showing you here is the insides of the wheel well and all that other good stuff that needed a little bit of touch up paint. So if you missed it, go back and look at it. That way you can see it one more time. Taking off the tape right here, this is of the propeller because it doesn't need to be on there anymore. This model is basically done and we just have to do a little bit of touch ups here and there. Put some bombs on, put some missiles, all that good stuff. Tape was on there for quite a while, it took me a while to do this model. So getting it off, it's stuck a little bit, but here we go. We've almost got it all off. There's a couple props left to go, I believe. One more. Here we go, getting this piece of tape off and then on the back side, that is all done. So now you're going to see the inside of this cowling right here. You're going to see it needs a little bit of work. Let's take the tape off the front of the canopy right here. A couple pieces. We're going to have a little bit of touch-up paint to do, so not too big of a deal. After we get to this, we will take out the main canopy, and we will start taking the tape off of that. So here that is right now. A little bit of tape on there. We get that from the underside. That way nothing would get overspray on it and we're going to take it off from the outside and here's what this looks like finished right here now what we're going to do is we are going to paint our prop a little bit the top of it goes silver once that's silver we need to get on the inside of there because it's actually just regular primer gray I believe from when I made the uh, primer coat so we're gonna have to move that prop up and back and forth and all around that way we can get inside of that cowling was a little tricky but I managed to do it and it turned out pretty good so what we're going to do is start putting on some decals right here this is the star decal we're going to cut this one out as always put it in some water and you're going to let it soak for about 10 seconds once you're done letting it soak just take it out of the water let it sit on a paper towel and we can then put that onto the model here is the uh, call sign numbers. We're also going to put that one onto the model as well. Here we are, as I just explained, putting it in the bowl of warm water, taking it out and letting it rest on the paper towel. Going to put a little bit of water onto the wing here. You can also use some micro set if you want, or even micro saw. Take your star decal, get it where you want it positioned. Once it's in its final spot, just put some micro saw on it and it'll basically shrink back right into that wing and you'll see all the nice contours and it'll look really good. We're doing the same over here on the other wing, that's the right wing. Uh, this goes around the cowling. Make sure you have the concave portion of this facing towards the prop. That way it wraps around the way you need it to wrap around. Otherwise it's going to be a pain in the butt and it's going to look funny. So I did mine from the top. I just lightly pulled everything away then I'd let the rest of the decal fall down and it did a pretty good job of going right to the center. Need a little bit of relining, but not too much. It basically goes right on the edge of that cowling where it meets up with the rest of the model. Put some microsol on that, and we'll let that sit for a little bit. This is the tail, so we're going to put that on there. Put some more microsol on. We're going to do the other side of the tail and get that on. So here you can see that right now. And after we do that, we are just going to get this into position. Didn't have really a lot of trouble with these decals. They were pretty good. Even the big ones, I managed to get them on fairly simply. Here we go, spraying that on there. We're going to put on some more decals, of course, because that's what this part is. This is going to be the number 14. Put that in position. You need to be careful with all these decals because they all go in one line and you need to make sure they go on properly especially from the tail i'd advise probably working backwards instead of how i do it start with the marine logo because that goes closest to the tail and then you can slowly shift everything down from there instead of having to rework anything in case it sets so i got the microsol on here and you're going to see me put the marine decal on it's got to go really tight because it goes right up with that tail as you can see it just barely fits so if you work in reverse it'll be a lot easier so we're going to put all the small decals on for this side. Once we do that, we can probably head to the other side and put everything else on. I'm working one side at a time. It's easier that way and you can let stuff dry. Just all these small little decals. Not too bad. We have two more to go here. I'm going to put this one here and then there's one that goes in between because I missed one and didn't realize it. So we're going to show you that now and here that goes. Putting that on right in between everything. 
And once that's set, we should be ready to flip this model to the other side and start working on that. So here we go, these are the final decals. There is one more here that goes on the very end of the tail, just real small, not too noticeable, but of course it is there, so we're going to put it onto the model. Here is the other side, this is the right side. And you can see I'm doing it ex how I explained, starting from the back and working our way forwards. That way everything fits where we want it to fit and you don't have to mess with anything. So I just keep putting these decals on. You see this one flopped up a little bit, but just get a little bit of water in behind there and it'll lay down perfectly. Put that number on there. Don't forget, use your micro saw once everything is in position. Don't touch them afterwards because you know you want to let them dry. So we've got that done. We're going to put this on right here, our small little decals as we did on the other side of the plane. Here is one more. Just remember it has the same amount in the exact same spots, just in reverse. We've got that one right there. And I think the reason I did it this way so I could let some dry and then put one in the middle. And I think that was easier from what I remember. We have this one last decal, that's going on right there. Here we go, this is the front of the model, working right here by our canopies in the front windshield. And of course, we always have these, they're on every single propeller, the little yellow things that say, hey, blah, 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 because you can't really read them anyway. And then these are always on there too. I don't know what they say either, but every prop has them, so. Here they are, we're going to stick them on and we're going to make them look pretty. I wasn't too concerned with how they look so I just got them on and then I put them into position after the fact and it was a lot easier for me to do. You just put all four decals in all at once. So we've got those taken care of. We're going to work on the underside of the plane now and here's that marine logo again that is on the left side. Once you get these in place you're probably going to have to poke some holes for the rockets right on the decal. So let it dry really well before you do all that. And use some microsol again. Putting the number right there that goes on to the uh, the landing gear. So we're putting that on, and here is our star, which goes on the opposite side of the wing. It's got some uh, little circles on there, so you need to put that in the right spot and make sure you have it in the right position when you do this. And once that is done, we are going to start poking holes into the little marine logo like you see here that way we can put our rockets on and I did put the rockets on my plane and I think it turned out very well so here we go we're cleaning out the insides that way we can put our two bombs on making sure everything is clean taking some paint off of this right here that's our fuel tank put a little bit of glue on the end of that shove it into the little hole as we do with every part it always goes into some sort of hole hold it there for a little bit that way you let it dry start scraping the paint away from the pins on these rockets there were a lot of them you just got to do it and you got to get it done once you get all that paint scraped off we can prepare those do the same thing on the pins for your bombs right here so everything that goes in a little hole you got to scrape the holes and you got to scrape the pins and that's the easiest way to do it so I put a little bit of a uh, glue right here on the toothpick, made it a little bit easier. Just put a little bit of glue on the edge of these pins here. That way I didn't make too big of a mess. Next time I'll get a little tip for the glue. That'd probably be easier. And I just put each one in one by one. It'd be a good idea to test fit them ahead of time. That way you know they fit. We're doing another rocket right here. This time I'm putting it on with the glue all on there. And you see you get a lot more glue and you just have to be careful when you're doing that. So we've got this rocket on right here you can see what it looks like you can also do it this way put the glue directly into the holes so we're going to do that here and put this rocket on and same thing so we've got eight rockets in total that fits into the hole nicely last rocket i don't remember how i did it but it's on this is the bomb right here we're going to put it into its little hole and you see that's one whole side already done we're going to do the other side and that will be completed here we're putting in the canopy it's got to snap into place i don't ever touch it i didn't even glue it right here last piece of the plane is the pedo tube notice it's not painted because i didn't want to break it so i put it in once it was finally in position i let it dry and then i painted it 
and this is the last thing that needs painting on this model and after that you know you just give it a coat of uh, like gloss coat or whatever you want to do it that way it seals those decals in so here it is this is the final model rockets and all this is the back side watch these as I take these out not fun I put them in there for painting believe me if you can do it don't put them in there but if you have to do it you see how they turn they pop up they'll snap into place do the same thing for the other side I'm just showing you how hard it actually was I can't even believe I actually got them in there but I did so we'll take out that wheel and that turns and spins and then you'll hear that also click into place and that's why they have to have a proper orientation for them got our little tail hook so we need to open up our landing gear doors in the back once we get those open you can kind of just pull up a little bit on that back wheel it'll pop out and you can just use a little pair of tweezers to get the tail hook out and that's what I did here so you see here's the model now we can also be careful of the wing give a good pull on that you'll hear it snap and there that lifts up so you can see the model now how you could position it wing up or down tail hook in or out wheels and the prop spins it looks pretty doesn't it so this is the final model right here thanks for watching me build this corsair subscribe for the latest videos comments and likes are appreciated see ya